welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss how to delete the to do which we have created and to delete the to do i will move to the to do repository and here inside this interface i to do repository i will create a function to delete the to do and to do that let me copy this paste it here i will change the function name to delete to do and what this function will take this function will take the document id and what will be the return type the return type of this will be future of either failure and instead of list of to do model here i will change it to dynamic okay now i need to provide the implementation of this delete to do in to do repository and to do that again i will copy this and i will paste it here i need to change the function name to delete to do and let me change it to document id and here instead of list of to do model i will change it to dynamic right now here if the internet connection is available then let me remove all these codes from here or what i can do is that await app right provider database now instead of list document it will be delete document and in the delete document i need to pass the database id the collection id and instead of this query here i need to pass the document id and here i will use document id now there is no need of this so let me remove this and here i will store this inside a variable where response and here i will use response so that's it we have created the delete to do function in the to do repository after that i will move to the to do qubit so let me move to to do qubit and here i will create the function delete to do so let me create it here and instead of get to do i will change it to delete to do and what this uh, delete to do function will take this function will take the document id so here i am using a required string document id now whenever this function will be called at that time first of all we need to emit to do add edit delete loading after that from the to do repository i will call the delete to do and here i need to pass document id and instead of this here i will pass document id okay now after that here in res dot fold if there is a failure then i will emit the to do error and if there is a success then here i will use to do add edit delete success so we have created the function delete to do in the to do qubit after that i will move to add edit to do view from where i need to call this delete to do so i will move here and if you remember that here we need to uh, incorporate the feature of delete to do so here i need to call the delete to do function and to do that here i will call delete to do which i will create and to this delete to do i will pass the document id of to do so i will use widget dot to do model and from here i can pass the id now i need to create this delete to do function here so i need to create it here i will create a function void delete to do and what this function will take this function will take the document id so let me make it is required string document id and here what i need to do is that 
I need a confirmation means whenever the user is trying to delete the to-do at that time we need a confirmation whether the user wants to delete the to-do or not. If the user clicks on the OK button then only the to-do will be deleted else the to-do will not be deleted and to generate that confirmation dialog I will use a package named as awesome dialog. For that we need to install the package so I am pressing ctrl shift p click on art, uh, uh, dot add dependency and from here I will search awesome dialog. So let me install this. Okay, the package has been installed. Now whenever this function will be called at that time I will use awesome dialog and what it will take let me import this let me move to pubspec.yml once again and you can see that awesome dialog package has been installed with the version 3.2.1 now let me move to add edit to do view and let me import the awesome dialog package okay now here we need to pass the context after that here we can pass dialog type and in the dialog type here I will use dialog type dot warning and here I can pass animation type and in the animation type I will use anim type dot let it be right slide after that it needs a title so here in the title I will pass app string dot delete to do it needs a description in the description here I will pass app string dot are you sure to delete to do after that it will take btn cancel on press means what will happen when the user clicks on the cancel button I will leave it blank and what will happen when the user clicks on the ok button for that we need to use btn ok press and here I need to call the to do delete to do function which we have created inside the uh, qubit and to do that here I can write context dot read and here what type of qubit that is to do qubit and from here now I can call delete to do and here I can pass the document ID after that here we need to call the so function to display the awesome dialog that's it okay and here I need to use underscore and here I can pass the named parameter that is document ID okay that's it now let me save this and let me do a hot restart okay after restarting the project we are getting the output like this now if I click on this particular to do then you can see the details has been displayed here and here we have a delete icon if I click here then you can see that the confirmation dialog is coming if I click on cancel then nothing will happen but if I click on OK then this particular to do will be deleted from the list as you can see the to do has been deleted let me delete one more that is test one if I click here if I click on this and click on OK then you can see the to do has been deleted from the list this is how we can perform the delete operation that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching